D, and this is my creative process. So basically, I don't really have a creative process, <laughs> which is the funny part, because I look like a very put together person, I think. But if there's that weird off chance where I decide to draw just for the sake of drawing, it looks a little bit something like this. First, I will scroll TikTok or Pinterest until I physically want to take out my eyes and wash them in saline solution, or until I find something super cool and normally say out loud, I kind of want to draw that. Secondly, I have to find the motivation, and this is the part that takes me the longest. Usually, if it's something super cool that I love and I really want to draw right away, I'll just get straight to it. But if it's something that I have to draw for school, or if it's something that I have to draw for an assignment or a commission, it usually takes me a little bit of time to kind of just want to sit down and do it. But when I do, that's when I have step three sitting down and actually drawing. I personally draw digitally just because I think it's a hell of a lot easier than drawing traditionally. After I've kind of drawn out my sketch, I'll go back and find a few things. And once I've finished my actual drawing, I sit for two days without looking at it until I decide to come back and look at it again and make sure it is up to either submission level, my level, or if I'm willing to actually go give this to somebody for money. And if it's not, I'll redraw, I'll re-render, I'll redo whatever I need to do. And half the time, that's exactly what I end up doing. But there is that weird off chance I don't. I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm willing to submit this how, I, how it ends, and I'm willing to submit this however it looks. And that pretty much is my creative process. It's not drawn out, it's not perfect, but it works for me and it works for a lot of other people I found out too, which is really cool. <laughs>